Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you just recently found my channel and you've liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Now, let's go ahead and get into what's for dinner tonight. Tonight, I made one pot chicken and dirty rice with a Cajun cream sauce. Oh, yes, and it was so good. We're not going to have leftovers, that is for sure. And I made plenty of it to go around. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and gather up all of our ingredients, and let's get into our kitchens and get this started. All right, first things first, you're going to go ahead and heat up your pan with some olive oil in it. Then you're going to take your bone-in chicken thighs, and you're going to season them up with some Cajun seasoning. I use mine that I always use, um, one that I most of the time always use until I get a wild hair at my butt. And um, I will have that listed in the description box down below. So if you give it a try and you like this recipe, then let me know. And if you have any kind of, you know, something that you want to see me cook, just leave it in the comments below and I will make that happen for you. All right. Now, all I'm doing, all I did was just season up my chicken thighs and I am putting them in my skillet. Okay, because it's heating up. And once we get them all into our skillet, we're going to go ahead and get them little bad boys nice and brown on both sides. See, there we go. Now we're going to hit up that underbelly with some more of that Cajun seasoning. Yes, we are. And then we're just going to let it go. Let it go, baby. All right. Now, once you got that side all browned up, you're going to want to go ahead and brown up the other side as well. Mine took about a total time of about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, yours might take um longer yours might not take that long but here's the finished product now we're going to go ahead and move them and put them onto a plate so we can go ahead and get the next steps going here once you get all your chicken removed from your pan you are going to want to go ahead and this is where i would have browned up my vegetables right there and all that chicken juice but my hamburger meat was still frozen so i decided to go ahead and do that but if your hamburger meat is not frozen, brown up your vegetables first and then add in your um, hamburger meat. Now, all I'm adding in is a one whole bell pepper. Whatever color you have on hand is fine. I mean, do whatever works best for you and your family. Okay, so that is one whole bell pepper and then one whole onion you can use yellow white purple whatever you have this recipe is not real finicky now i'm just going to go in with a little bit more of my cajun seasoning just to give those vegetables you know some nice little flavor flavor in there and now once you get that your vegetables start to soften you're going to go ahead and add in two cups of white rice or brown rice or whatever you like then you're going to let your rice get start to toast up in that residual oil then you're going to go in with the rest of your cajun spices and a little bit of some chicken bouillon now y'all know that i use the nor chicken bouillon no i didn't use two full tablespoons i use half tablespoons each and i'm just you know put it in there now what you're going to do is mix up all your vegetables into your brown rice vegetable rice thing that you have going on there and you're going to use that residual oil that is still left in your pan to um warm up and kind of awaken your dry spices now whenever you start to smell your spices okay when you're when you're all that so when your spices start to wake up, it's going to hit you in the face, okay? That's when you're going to go ahead and you're going to want to add in your chicken broth or water or water or whatever you're using. Yes, I added some more spice to mine because my son is like, no, mom, I think we're going to need a little bit more. I say, you know what? You might be right. So I went ahead and added a little bit more. Then when you're going to go ahead and add in three cups of water, chicken broth, beef broth, whatever you're using, okay? veggie broth whatever floats your boat all right now once you get all your water added on in there you're going to go ahead and uh, give it one good stir and then we are going to go ahead and plop our chicken back in there because remember we only cooked our chicken halfway through so we're going to finish chick uh, cooking our chicken and with the broth and the rice and all those veggies yes and what and you're also going to want to use any of the 
juices that was left on your plate add those into your pan as well now you're going to want to go ahead and let this boil okay i was kind of just you know in retard mode at this time sorry i've been dealing with some health issues and i just kind of like i just needed to sit down for a minute and i put my lid on there without it even boiling don't do that you're going to want to see how it has those little divots that's when you're going to want to put your lid on and you're going to want to let it set for 30 minutes and this is what it looks like when you take it off let's plate this baby up and here it is all plated up for you now if you're wondering about the sauce i had that left over and me and my son was just wanting to try it see how it was and it was the bomb all that is was my cajun seasoning and um some heavy whipping cream let it thicken up plop it on good it was very good bye y'all